Oh, hi, it's Jenya. Oh, I wanted to talk to you about the latest um, goodie that we have, and that would be Adobe Spark. And um, they just released this new uh, program, software, website where you can go on and create your own graphics, your own web stories, and your own video. So today I want to just go real briefly um, and just kind of go through and just see what we got. So we have social posts and graphics. Let's just go ahead and do that. It says an image is worth a thousand words. And I've got people, let's see, do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. I think that was, um, he's one of my favorites, John Maxwell. All right, let's just put a little thingy in there. Where's that thing? Yeah, so we'll see. Okay. Oh, and then we can pick my graphic size. I can do Facebook, Twitter, poster, slide, more sizes, Pinterest, Facebook ad, a blog post, Facebook cover. Oh, this is so cool. Um, Twitter header, LinkedIn cover, YouTube thumbnail. You could do Etsy, Square, all these different ones. So let's do Facebook. People don't know how much you care. Okay, so let's do that. And there we go. All right. And so what happens is it brings up a theme, which is right here. And you can go ahead and choose whichever theme you want, which means it's just going to basically change the layout of your text. All right. So. Go down and, you know, there's varying uh, different, diverse and sundry. There we go, what we call it. All right, so then let's just pick one, you know, because that's a good one. And after we picked our, um, picked our theme, let's look at our palette, because I'm just going to go from side to side. So the color palette, I can choose... Um, Whichever one I'd like. So if you have a brand colors that you use for everything, just go ahead and maybe have one that you use all the time. Because one of the cool things about um, branding is that, you know, you want to have the same consistent look no matter what. And when you click this, it takes it through the different colors. Okay, so this has five colors. So each time you click, it kind of makes it a little bit different. All right, so I'm going to stick with this color uh, palette. And then we go to the photo. You can replace your photo. So all these different places you can go. If you have them in Dropbox, I'm sure you have Attach It, Google Photos. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and upload a photo. And I have a bunch of them here in one little section. I'm going to go down here and grab. Mm. You know, I love a photo. I'm going to grab my hydrangea. I am the hydrangea crazy woman. Okay, so then I'm not really crazy about that palette because it's not really changing. It's just too dark for me. Well, actually, let me just go back to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. There you go. You see how you can do that? So I'm going to go back to my palette that I want to use because these are like my brand colors for the most part. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my photo. And it allows me to do layers, right? It allows me to change the back and put a, a filter on my photo. Okay, so you have, what, let me like 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so you have your photo filters you can use on here. And you can modify, so you can scale it and make the, you know, your photo as big as you want. And you can rotate it if you want to, you know, turn it to the side or whatever. All right, make it a little different. For now, I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And I'm not going to scale it. I'm going to make it just regular size if I can. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Hey, listen, folks, we're all learning together here. Ah, come on. Okay, so that's done. And um, I think I am not really crazy about this text. So we can go in with the text, and I can change the shape. So if I want to make it round, I can make it round. Okay. Um, 
you can do that and save it, you know, so you can go down here and put whatever shapes you want. You can change the color. So let's say I wanted to, wasn't crazy about how that went through. I can do that. They have suggested colors. And then once again, at the bottom, they have, you know, if you have a particular color palette that you want to use, you get it right here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. And let's save that. And then if we wanted to change the font, we could go ahead and change the font. The spacing, so you can make it, see how it gives you a little bit more spacing there. That makes it too big. All right, so that gives it a little bit more. Align it, I can make it to the left, I can make it to the right, or I can leave it in the middle. All right, and then opacity, I can make it a little bit more transparent so you could see the background or not. Okay. And anyway, I'm just doing this just to uh, walk you through. We can add more text. We can edit. We can delete it. All that. Okay, so now I think I'm done. It says right here that it's saving. So if you look on the left-hand side, it'll let you know that it's saving it. And so at this point, I can go through and share it. So I can, it says it's saving my post. And come on, baby, come on. Taking a little longer than I thought. Okay, and it tells me I can put it in a category. I can show myself as the author, you know, all these other things. But the big thing here is that you can now download it and save it to your files. And then, of course, you can upload it to Facebook or wherever you want do it. And then once you're finished with that and you click on the left here, you'll see your projects. So any projects that you have will already be there. Okay. And, um, and so that's it. That's the basics. And that's just for the, um, uh, English. Yeah. Cause now you can do a page, which I'm not really sure about yet. <laughs> and you can also do a video which, you know, we all know what a video is. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little insight into Adobe Spark. And if you want to create a graphics, go right on ahead. This is Jenya at JenyaHolder.com. Have a great day.